I thought I've had a really interesting life and I've left a legacy of doing good things and teaching people and empowering people. So I'm okay with how I've lived so far, but I don't want to miss out on the important things for my daughter. I'm a site coordinator for communities and schools. Each year I case manage about 10% of the population of Roundy. When I am doing something that's effective and helpful and useful to help others bring out the best in themselves, whether it's students or adults, then I feel empowered myself and being empowered is what makes me feel beautiful. There have been times in my life where going out and dancing has made me feel beautiful or being out in nature, hiking and things where I'm exerting myself physically but in a beautiful place. I was having headaches in the middle of working full time, having a two and a half year old and working on buying a house. And, uh, those headaches got really bad and I thought I better get it checked out and it turns out that I had an eight centimeter tumor on my brain. It was brain cancer, it was malignant. That was confusing, like how, how is that possible? I'm, I'm relatively healthy, yes I'm having headaches, but he showed me the images and that's undeniable. I was still nursing my daughter at the time, and that was the last day that I got to do that. She was two and a half, it was time to, to uh, stop, but that wasn't how I wanted to do it. I don't know how I wanted to do it, but not in an ER on a purple sheet. The hardest thing was, was reading her stories at night, especially the night before going in for craniotomy when they were going to remove the tumor. Trying to be upbeat and happy for her and feeling like this could be the last day. After my craniotomy, I woke up in the hospital and I didn't know beforehand how much of my head was going to be shaved. And I woke up and just the front half was shaved. Probably a good thing. I had been planning to shave the whole thing ahead of time um, so that maybe I could make a wig out of my own hair or something like that, but that didn't happen. So the front half of my head was shaved. I had 30 staples or more um, going across from the center down to my right ear. And I had a tube coming out of my head and I felt like probably one of the ugliest people I had ever seen. Bruised and still with the purple dye for where they're doing the surgery. And about a day after I had had the surgery, my daughter was allowed to come and see me and she said, Mommy, you have a crown. And she was referring to the staples. And I had thought she was gonna run and screaming from the room, but she just accepted me as I was. I think because I have a family that cares about me so much and loves me so much, I don't remember ever feeling really scared. It's a difficult journey to be on, and a lot of people talk about um, fighting cancer and being a warrior against cancer, and that was not how I wanted to face this experience. Um, I'm much more of a peaceful person, and it really clarified for me that I don't like the language of being a fighter and a warrior and I'm going to beat it. Since it's my own body doing this to me, I wanted to love it out of me if I could. Here I am three years later, still reading her stories and singing her songs at night. Um, that's a good thing.
and every bump in the road is, it's just that. And it also gives me a real appreciation for every day and for every moment that I can spend with her, as well as every day that I get a chance to help somebody else make their own life a little bit better. The empowering voice in my head that I try to listen to the most is the one that tells me that one step at a time. That I am enough. I am good enough. <laughs>